गुड मॉर्निंग दिस इज डॉक्टर अनुजा सिंह असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ केमिस्ट्री सी के डी कॉलेज न्यू पनवेल टूडे आई विल बी डिस्कसिंग यू वी विजिबल स्पेक्ट्रोस्कोपी विच इज अलेबस ऑफ ऑफ एम एस सी केमिस्ट्री सेम वन पेपर फोर एनालिटिकल केमिस्ट्री यूनिट थ्री ऑप्टिकल मेटल सो फर्स्ट वट इज स्पेक्ट्रोस्कोपी इट इज अ स्टडी ऑफ इलेक्ट्रोमैग्नेटिक रेडिएशन डेट फॉल्स ऑन अ मॉलिक्यूल एंड हाउ इट रियक्ट्स सो फर्स्ट वट इज द इलेक्ट्रोमैग्नेटिक रेडिएशन इट इज अ फुल रेंज ऑफ लाइट रेंजिंग फ्रॉम आई आर टू एन एम आर टू माइक्रोवेव रेस सो लाइट एज वी नो दैट लाइट ट्रेवल्स इन टू वेज इट बिहेव एज वेल एज अ वेव नेचर एंड एज ऑल्सो एज अ पार्टिकल नेचर सो इट ट्रेवल्स एंड इट इट वैन इट स्ट्राइक विद अ मॉलिक्यूल सो मॉलिक्यूल एब्जॉर्ब सम लाइट एंड इट ट्रांसमिट द रेस्ट ऑफ द लाइट so we can detect that and study uh, those uh, f- uh, through detector and study those to determine different properties of a molecule so there are two important processes first is absorption second is emission so that we will discuss so first thing as we can see from here the different full range of electromagnetic radiation ranging from radio to microwave ir u visible reason uv reason x rays and gamma rays so this is in the order of wavelength and wave number so wave number is uh, reciprocal of uh, wavelength so wavelength generally we determine in meter and wave number in centimeter in inverse so coming to the topic uv visible spectroscopy so it is a branch of spectroscopy where we generally see the absorption or reflection of uv visible spectral region so ultraviolet radiation uh, it, it is a method that can measure the analyte quantity th- depending on the amount of light received by the analyte so this is the electromagnetic ray is travels in two direction and this is the visible spectrum it ranges from 400 nanometer to 800 nanometer covering all the seven colors of uh, that are visible to our eyes so this is the instrumentation of uh, uv visible spectrophotometer so generally uh, it comprises of light source from where we get the uv uh, light then uh, wavelength selector we can select a wavelength particular wavelength it, at which we want to take uh, the reading of our sample then this light travel to through our sample so in here some of the light is absorbed the rest will be transmitted so the transmitted light will be detected by detector uh, and that will be converted to electric current and through the computer we can uh, find out the signal and we can uh, uh, calculate our result this is the instrument uh, how it really looks like and uh, so here in uh, here uh, uh, we used to uh, uh, take two sam- reference and our sample but our solvent we are using that we keep in a reference use as a reference and our sample so uh, Uh, from the mirror like d2 lamp we can use we can use tungsten lamp so from that it falls uh, through the uh, mirror the light used to split and enter to the through the reference and through the sample so there are two detectors and combined result we will get so combined result will be uh, sample minus reference so whatever solvent we are using that uh, data will be automatically detected from the sample reading and the uv uh, visible uh, graph looks like this broad band generally we'll get the broad band and uh, uh, there is one term lambda max that is wavelength of maximum absorption that means uh, the wavelength at which will we get the maximum absorbance so coming uh, to the principle or uh, basics of this spectroscopy so as i told ki uv visible range uh, from 200 to 800 meter and here we are calculating uh, the uh, analyte concentration so what happens whatever the light falls on a molecule it absorb that light and goes from uh, uh, goes to excited state from ground state that is known as absorption process 
and from excited state the molecule again come back to the ground state so that is known as emission so in absorption the absor we is uh, calculate the term absorbance so absorbance is uh, uh, reciprocal of transmittance so a is absorbance and t is transmittance that is the transmitted light so a equal to minus log of 1 by t uh, so, uh, according to Lambert's Beard's law, whatever the absorption absorbance is there, that is directly proportional to two things. First is length, path length of the cell, I mean how much light uh, it is traveling to the sample uh, container. So, generally the sample container length is around one, uh, one centimeter is standard one. So, uh, first thing A is proportional to path length that is L. Second, A is constant uh, proportional to the analyte concentration that is C. So, combining these two terms, th we get the equation A equal to epsilon LC that is known as Lambert's Beard's law. That's how we calculate the analyte concentration if we uh, got the graph for absorbance. So, next is uh, uh, what happens? So, uh, the incident light what is coming, it is uh, uh, interact with the electron cloud and uh, it, it gives us some electronic transition. Uh, then uh, UV visible uh, bands are generally large. They we, we used to get the Gaussian curve, broad curve and with increasing polarity what happens the uh, generally the bro, uh, com, bro, band used to shift uh, to the red, sh uh, red side, mother, red shift means uh, the wavelength used to increase. It also depends on the temperature and uh, now, uh, what is the strength or what are the advantages of using UV visible spectroscopy? So, this technique is non-destructive and uh, the measurement can be done very quickly and uh, instrument is ready, easy to use and uh, uh, whatever the data analysis, uh, it takes minimum uh, processing time and the instrument is generally inexpensive to acquire and operate and it is simply uh, available generally to most of the chemi chemistry laboratories. But uh, this instrument also or this spectrum also has some limitation. So, uh, first limitation is stray light. If any light uh, coming, un uh, unwanted light coming inside the instrument, it can get affected to the result. Then light scattering, if light scatters uh, often it cause some uh, 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 sus uh, caused by suspended solids in liquid sample. So it may cause some serious measurement errors. Next is interference from multiple absorbing species. So if there are uh, in our sample, if there are uh, lot of multiple uh, species are present, so they can also give some uh, ab absorption of light. So it can be uh, uh, the spectra can be overlapping. Next is geometrical con concentration. So, sometimes in some of the instrument mirrors are not properly fixed or uh, the cubit uh, uh, sample container is not fixed. So, that may also result in inaccurate uh, data. So, what are the applications of UV visible spectroscopy? It is uh, widely used for food authentic uh, analysis, DNA RNA, RNA analysis waste water treatment, beverage analysis, air quality monitoring, bacterial culture, pharmaceutical analysis and uh, various other applications are also there. So, with this I want to conclude this. Thank you.